I'm here with a different video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace your power supply for your PlayStation 3 um, power unit at the back. So if you guys have a faulty power unit, it turns off or it's not powering on, it could be a faulty power unit. I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how to replace it. All right, let's get into it. First thing first, you wanna flip over your console what do you want to do? You want to grab a, a screwdriver. I'm, have a, I'm using an iFixit toolset uh, with a bit number one Phillips. Actually, yeah, number one. So what are you going to do in here? I already lost the bottom covers on these two screws. So you have to remove these covers. They come just like this. You have to stick something underneath and remove them. These are just plastic rubber covers. So they're going to have on every corner. You only want to remove the two at the back and one right where the USB ports are. This one, you don't need to remove it. This is just a regular leg. There's no screw right at the back. So remove the three rubber legs right here and remove the screws. All right, these screws are the same size. So put those in a different place. Next, you want to remove the hard drive by lifting up this cover and pulling it to one side and remove one blue screw. Once you have it in one side, slide the cover for the hard drive just to the one side, as just about half a centimeter, and then just lift up the cover. Next, you want to open up this trigger and pull up on this wire, metal wire. And that's the hard drive with the caddy. Put that to one side. Next, what you want to do, you want to remove these covers right here. I'm using as something sharp. Just lift up. These are plastic cover, unlike the rubber covers. These are the plastic one. Remove that one. This one right over here. This one right over here. And there's one right here by the warranty label. So you have to remove this warranty label. So lift out the warranty label. And remove the cover right under it. All right, next you wanna remove the screws. There we go. Next, you want to change your screw bit to a secure lock. These are uh, Torx, with that they have a little tiny pin at in the middle. So you need a Torx screw lock. I believe it's number R T R ten. Let me make sure. Nope, it's one smaller than that. It should be T R nine there. Yes, so it's a secure torque number nine. You want to remove one, two, three screws. Use a magnet to pull it out. All right, once we have all the front screws out, all the screws on the bottom out, what you want to do, you want to flip over your console now grab it from the back side and just lift up from the back end pretty easy just softly lift it up this one is kind of dirty all right now you can go ahead and clean up the whole system if you want to with an air can but the video is about this thing right here so this is the power unit for the console you need to pinch this cable right here he has a little trigger right there. You want to pinch this trigger and then pull it up. So you see that trigger, you have to pinch it and then pull it up. And on this side, you just have to pull it up. Just use a little force, just pull the cable out. This is just, there's no lock on this one. 
Once you have these two up, you want to remove the screw on this side, right there, and the screw on the other side. There are two screws. Again, they are Phillips screws, so we we'll remove it. All right, there we go. Now what you want to do, you want to grab it evenly and from both sides. From here, put your finger right underneath. And then, the, this side is going to be loose, but this side is going to have a little jack, so pull it up. Pull this side up, because you want to lose up this to jack that goes right in there. So, this is your power unit for your console. They come with a, depending, most of the consoles, they give you different type of the power unit. So once you pull it out on the bottom, it says model. This is an EADP-220BB. So you want to double check this model number that it says at the bottom. It's like a tattooed on the cover. And then uh, check it for the exactly the same model. Because I have opened a few of these ones. From the outside, they have the same model number. But from inside, they use a slightly different uh, power unit. So it's always the best to open it up and double check your model. I'll leave the link in the description for this specific model. Again, it's an eadp 220 double B. If you have a different model, give me your model in the comment area. I'll try to get you the link where you can buy them. All right, now you can go ahead and actually clean it up if you want to, or if you just have the new one, grab the new one, same thing, pull the cables to one side, evenly put it on top. Make sure these two connectors has to go inside those tiny holes right there. So put it, align it right over and then push down on this side, make sure it goes all the way down. Now next, you wanna put the two screws, one on each side. There we go. And one on the other side. Once you finish with that, you wanna connect this 12 volt cable right in the jack, just push it down. Put the power cable. Put it all the way down, make sure you hear that click sound. And next thing is to grab the bottom cover. To put the bottom cover, you need to put it the front end first. Make sure you the front end, these two hinges right here, align right there. Once they are set right there, then you wanna cover, close down the lid. And bring it all the way down, all the way back. Now hold it, flip it down, upside down. Now we're gonna put all the screws back in. So let's put the front three end screws, the black ones. And I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, any requests, leave them in the comment area. I always try to answer all my comments. All right, so we put the three screws. Next, grab the hard drive, slide it right in place, all the way in. Lift up this hinge. Grab the cover, put the cover with an offset position, and then slide it. So you want to put the cover, cover in that position right there, and then you want to slide it in. Put the blue screw right where this one goes. I will not be using this anymore, so let's grab this bit. Put the screw right there. Close the cover. And the rest is pretty easy. You just want to put all the screws that are the same size, everything. And the rubber legs goes in the corners and the plastic covers goes in on the rest. Again, thank you for watching. I'm just going to finish screwing this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video.